Can we steal our opponent's monsters by giving away hippos? I'll explain as we go, so let's get right into game one. Wow, that's a weird hand. Lilith, an Egyptian god, and some hippos. It might look strange, but if things go right, we should be able to turn this into a win. Let's summon Lilith and use her ability to tribute herself and reveal three copies of Trap Trick from our deck. Since they're all the same card, it doesn't really matter which one gets chosen, so set a Trap Trick along with the rest of our cards and pass turn. Your go, opponent. Photon Sanctuary? Galaxy Eyes is one of my favorite decks, so let's see how far they get. They link up to Soul Flare and use Vanisher to search Photon Dragon. All right, summon Wizard to exceeds for Star Liege, bring out Photon Dragon and Galaxy Expo for an Afterglow. Now they exceeds for Cypher and Cypher X? Kind of an odd route to take, but maybe they aren't as familiar with the deck or its new support. They bring out another Photon Dragon and go to battle. Well, that is still enough damage to take us out this turn, so when they attack, let's activate the legendary Super Hippo Carnival. This spell summons a Performapal Hip Hippo from- that is a lot of peas. Wow. This spell will summon a Performapal Hip Hippo from our deck and then fill our board with Hippo Tokens. Get hopping, hippos! There they go, and oh no, I summon them in attack mode. Well, that might just be part of our plan. They destroy one of our hippos with Soul Flare, but now they've activated our trap card. Before they attack again, let's activate Trap Trick and set a copy of Switcheroo. Switcheroo? Ugh, Yu-Gi-Oh, why do you always spell things like this? Whatever. Switcheroo is a trap card that swaps control of all monsters on board as long as both players have the same number of monsters. And since they destroyed one of our tokens, now we both control exactly four monsters. So, activate Switcheroo, and... Perhaps the worst trade deal ever made. <laughs> nice. I hope you enjoy those hippos, opponent. Besides, your dragons look better on our side anyway. And since we summon the tokens in attack mode, we can attack over them and win the... Well, surrendering works too, I guess. Game 2. Well, we have hippos and the Switcheroo, so we might as well use this Lilith to grab some interaction. Set everything and pass turn. What are we up against this time? Red Dragon Archfiend? That's cool. They bring out Crimson Resonator, Wandering King Wildwind, and Synchro up to Red Rising Dragon. This card lets them summon a tuner from their graveyard. And while we could negate that, I would rather let them fill up their field a little more. So they bring back Crimson Resonator and activate it to summon two more Resonators. Gain some life and they summon another one. Wow, that is a pretty full board there, opponent. Don't mind if I do. Let's start up the carnival. And I think our hippos have taken a special liking to our opponent. Here he comes. Well, that was satisfying. To make it even better, Hippo Carnival says that only the Hippo tokens can be attacked this turn. And since our opponent is now in control of them, there aren't any legal attack targets and they have to pass turn. If we do some quick math, we obviously don't have enough damage on board to win, but that's where our backup plan comes into play. Cosmic Compass? Are you here only to remind people to hit the like button? Yes! Well, I can't argue with that. Activate Ancient Chant to search the one and only Wing Dragon of Ra. While the Hippo tokens can't be tributed, our opponent's monsters certainly can be. So tribute three Resonators to summon Ra, and then pay all but 100 life points to pump up Ra's attack and swing for the win. You might think this strategy is silly and would never work consistently, but uh, that is the name of the series after all. However, to maximize our chances of getting it to work, we're playing nine copies of Switcheroo alongside a ton of ways to generate a different number of tokens. That way we have more freedom when trying to summon the same amount of monsters as our opponent. But I hope you guys remember how these work because we still have to check out Game 3. We're going second this time, and it looks like we're up against Ice Jade. They search up some cards, summon Eagerine, and Synchro for Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. Unfortunately, they didn't summon many monsters, and we don't have a token generator in hand, but let's hope we can still pull off the switcheroo. Let's play Pot of Extravagance to draw two, and there's a Hippo Carnival. Set everything and pass back. And they go straight to battle. Alright, it's Hippo time. Maxi? Well, they will only get one draw since technically the Hippos are all summoned simultaneously. They take out one, and would you look at that, we both have two monsters on board. What are the odds? Nice, but we can't quite win this turn unless we summon Ra, 
So let's activate Monster Reborn to summon a monster from our opponent's graveyard. Sweet! Now that we have three monsters, we can activate Ancient Chant to search up Ra, and use its graveyard ability, which will... Droplet? Wait, opponent? Are you still the- uh, <laughs> okay. Let's rewind to see exactly what happened here. Ancient Chant can banish itself from Grave to give Ra extra attack points equal to the attack of the monsters we tributed for its summon. But then Supreme Sovereign will see it get banished and threaten to remove the opponent's face down, which was Forbidden Droplet. So they activate it in response to negate Cheng Ying, but then they realize that they don't have a way to deal with the raw when it comes down with 12,000 attack, and they rage quit. <laughs> oh man, GG's opponent, that was about as good as it gets. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and maybe check out the Silly Strats playlist for more. I couldn't find the comment, but this was actually a viewer suggestion, so if you want to see a certain Silly Strat, let me know by leaving a comment down below. And finally, I know this video was really short, I wanted to ease back into the editing process since I took a break recently, but don't worry, the next episode is shaping up to be really epic, so don't forget to subscribe because you will not want to miss it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.